specific clarification that was brought up last year is this is not a brand new tax. It will say establishment of a cum cap development tax rate because we are establishing a five cent from 0 0.0043. So just for point of clarification, it is not new. It is a reestablishment of an existing rate. And at one point it was at the full five cents. Yes, correct. It's been coming down every year since 2000. We haven't done this since 2014. Yeah. So. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jerry. Right, Thanks for the help. Yes. We'll look forward to seeing you next month. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Amy, you've got 2024-4 uh, as a resolution. Um, actually, the first thing I would like to go over is um, just to get approval <coughs> of the re reverse the uncleared checks. We did this last year. Um, it was like 2017 <coughs> through, through 2020. We had several um, uncleared checks. Um, and the SBOA, after their audit, encouraged us to reverse those. Um, so you should have a list of ones from 2021 um, that we can reverse. It's a much shorter list this time around. Um, uh, I just need approval to do that. I'll make the motion. Second. Motion's been made by Jamie, seconded by Mark. All those in favor say by signing aye. Aye. Those opposed. Okay, now 2024-4. Now 2024-4. If you remember, late in 21, after we got the first tranche of the ARPA money, we had to come up with a plan of how to... Am I unmuted now? Okay. Um, we had to come up with a plan of how to spend that money. We did it originally with the first tranche of money with a resolution. We are just getting ready to tap into that second tranche, even though we, we received it in 22. Um, so this is um, the plan for that. Um, it's just for matching grant funds, which was part of the first plan as well. Um, any questions on that? And I would, I would just note to you all that in the first resolution that was drafted for the first tranche, this second tranche resolution amendment was contemplated in your first resolution. So the first time we wrote it, it was, hey, here's what we're doing with this right now. We know it's the money's coming in two tranches, which I had to look up exactly what a tranche meant, but it's coming in two pots. Uh, the first one we approved and said we're at some point going to have to approve the second one. This is this is the amendment that was contemplated at the first go around for the second pot of money. Any questions for Amy? If not, we take a. Approval of resolution 2024-4. So moved. Motion's been made by Jamie. Second. Second by Daryl. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, now ordinance 2024-2. Okay, the airport um, would like a, a, an additional appropriation. They um, purchased um, a very large mower essentially and they need a building to house that in um i thought somebody was going to be here from the airport to speak tonight so um i told them that i would bring this forward uh, it was not originally in their budget um the funds do come from their operation from their operation yes kind of their money yes but it is a part of our. We're giving permission to use their budget. Yeah. Correct. You approve their budget initially, so you have to also approve this. There's going to be something else coming up with that. Probably. So, yes, you need to approve that. Motion to approve. Second. Motion's been made by Daryl, seconded by Jamie. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those so opposed? The That's the first reading. Yeah. Okay. 2024-3 is amendment to the city salary ordinance 23-20. So if you saw my memo, there's two things um, that had to be amended on the salary ordinance. The first one being a change in the um, job description for the GIS intern that was approved by the Board of Works last month. We took out <coughs> summer intern, um, allowing them to either have either uh, an intern any time of year or a part-time person. So you will see, and it should be highlighted in yellow, that the GIS intern slash part-time is the new title. 
It is not new. It was on there last year, at, or originally as summer intern. Um, so that is not new. It's just a change of the wording. And then the other two things are the wellness incentives for both the police and fire. Um, those were inadvertently left off and they would like to be paid their wellness incentive that has been approved by the Board of Works. So um, we have to have that in there because Julie can't pay anything like that without approval or without it being in the salary ordinance. I think the money was in the budget. It's definitely budgeted, yes. Yeah. This is not new. It, it was budgeted. Second. Motion's been made by Rodney, seconded by Jamie. Any other questions for Amy on that? Buzz, right? Okay. All the... All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Okay. And then. Can you suspend, you suspend the rules so that we can. All right. That, uh, can we do that on. You can suspend it because, uh, yeah, all you're doing is amending your ordinance to add language that you otherwise okay. have already approved. I'll make a motion we suspend the rules. Second. Motion's been made by Jamie, second by Kevin. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? I make a motion that we pass ordinance with 2024-3. On the second reading. Motion's been made by Jamie, seconded by Kevin. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Okay. okay, the final thing that I have for you this evening, um, just as um, I think just a vote of confidence or just to make you aware, the airport, when they originally got their loan for the um, to help with some expenses with land purchases for the airport expansion and improvement, they there was an um, a bank account is with that where you they drew the money down from the loan into that bank account that is no longer needed because we are no longer drawing from that loan we are at the point where we're only repaying that so there's six hundred and two dollars left in that account um, the airport has already approved for me to close that bank account that six hundred and two dollars is going to go toward the payment of that of the loan I'm, I don't know if it's just a vote of confidence or what it is. I just was making you aware that I'm closing a bank account, if you're good with that. The airport approved it, so. Everybody okay with that? Any Motion questions? Motion approved. Motion's been made by Mark. Second. Second by Jamie. All those in favor, sing for say aye. Aye. Those opposed. Perfect. Okay. Zach, you're back. 24-0204 is the street vacation we just discussed. Any questions for Zach that's come up since then? If not, is there I'll a, a motion? Motion pass 2024-04 on the street vacation for Gibson Street. Motion's been made by Jamie, seconded by Kevin. All those in favor, sing for saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Do you want to suspend on that too? I'll make a motion we suspend the rules on 2024-04. Motion's been made by Jamie, seconded by Kevin. You should copy and paste that. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? I make a motion we pass 2024-4 on the second reading. Second. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, motion's been made by Jamie, seconded by Mark. She just copy and pasted it. Uh, all, those, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Zach, welcome to the first podium where you didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, <don't touch> it. <laughs> This is your best speech so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mark, you want to give us an update? I know the board works just approved it, but heavy trash. It's that time Thank of the year again. Um, board of Works has gave approval. Heavy trash will occur the week of May the 20th through the 24th. We're going to continue <coughs> on with the same rules we put in place approximately 18 months ago that have made it a lot more manageable event. Um, and after we complete the second one this year, there was some questions about the Board of Works about the possibility of maybe looking at turning this into a once a year event rather than two. And when we have a better idea what the volumes were like in 2024, we'll render that decision in the future. My only concern would be that it'll be a mess if you do it once. If you only do it once, it's gonna be a disaster. Coming from my experience with cleaning that mess up when you guys load those containers. I can't see that doing that once a year. But the thing is, the one we had last year, the two of them together, the volume was less than what it was for one the year before. So we've cut the volume way down. When we limited the construction debris, we have not utilized near the number of 
roll-offs, and therefore it's been a lot more manageable. So we're going to look at it. Like I said, I'll bring you numbers. I'll have yardage and tonnages for both events and the totals for the years, and probably be able to compare back for five years. You're, you're confident that you can do it in one? But we're going to run two this year. We're going to run two, and then I'll tell you after I get the time total of the map for the two years, because I want to go back and look at what the spring event was in 2022, because that was actually the worst one we ever had. So we'll look at it again after 23, it's 21, it's 21, I'm sorry. So we'll look at it. And I think part of that was COVID shut everything down in 20, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, Nobody had thrown anything away for a year and a half, and that was just horrific. And with the changes implemented, I think we can manage it in one But we'll wait and see. Any questions on that? Perfect. Do you want to do a I brief think, update? Yeah. Go. Yes. Um, we talked last month about we were going to come to you with a request for an additional appropriation to utilize funds from the 2023 budget that were for CCMG match because we had an estimate for a project that was let here the sixth of the month. We were anticipating we were going to need 300 and some thousand dollars and that's about what we had available from that previous year. Um, the event, the bids came in a lot lower than expected and our match requirement that I submitted today to NDOT is only 221000 So we have an existing appropriation that will cover that, so we haven't brought you that request at this point in time. Now please bear with us. We will submit again in <coughs> July, and I can foresee that we will probably need that 331000 change at that point. Don't think because I'm not here, I won't be back, but I probably will be back. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't do a Schwarzenegger impression. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, the council has an appointment to the Redevelopment Commission that is yet to be filled. I know there was some discussion last month about the council having conversations amongst yourselves as to who or what that may be. So is there a recommendation from the council? Um, if I may, uh, there have been two uh, individuals that have expressed interest in being on the Redevelopment Commission, uh, Mark Foster Kemper, Glenn Tebby. I have spoken to the members of the Redevelopment Commission. They are thrilled to death with both of them. So and I've also talked to Mark and to Glenn. They both had the same response. We'd be glad to be on it. But if you choose someone else or choose the other, we're fine with that. So there it is. We have Mark and we have Glenn. Or does somebody else have another or name? Some, yes, name I, I, I apologize. Yeah. Yes. Well, and I will just to, because I know the conversation has been had, the question being whether or not a city employee can serve in that function on the, the redevelopment commission. From what I have found, so long as there is not an established conflict of interest, there's no reason that a city employee could not serve in that function. Uh, it is not a compensated board, so there is no, no issue with uh, dual lucrative positions. I've not found a conflict, so if you, if you were inclined, I, I do think you could uh, choose a city employee to appoint Mark, uh, made by Kevin, second by Vietta. Any further discussion on this topic? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Great, your first meeting's tomorrow. <laughs> it is tomorrow, in Japan. Then you also have an appointment to the plan commission. Sarah, do you have any insight into that, or Kevin? Do you, do you have someone in mind? So we, we well, I saw the agenda. I kind of yeah. 
you have an appointment to the Planning Commission. Um, you had appointed Rick Imsweller uh, with the intention of staying on. The statute does not allow him to do that uh, because it has to be it has to be a member of, of the council. So it has to be one of you. Um, Kevin obviously serves on the Planning Commission to serve as president for a long time. So one of the seven of you uh, need to fill that seat. First Tuesday of the month at seven. Uh, 715, 715, 715 and we only after the or immediately following the BCA. Yes, and we only meet when we have items. We don't, or, you know, come before we don't have the meetings unless we have something. So it's not typically not every month. I will volunteer to take that position. Okay. I'll make a motion to nominate. Dr. Kate. <laughs> Second. Second. That one wasn't going to get stale. I'm making a motion to close nominations. <laughs> Motion's been made to appoint uh, Dr. King by Jamie, seconded by Mark. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed. Congratulations, sir. Quick, uh, in the interest of time, the solar eclipse, we continue to do a lot of planning. The Board of Works approved the street closures surrounding sort of the high school as it relates to um, Sunday and Monday. Um, for the eclipse, we have put out a lot of information on social media. We've been talking about it on the radio. I was at North Decatur uh, speaking yesterday, and one of the kids asked me, tell us about the eclipse, and I said, I'm so glad that all of you know about it. Uh, they know about it because they're getting out of school that day. But uh, we'll take it. So there's there's a lot of uh, grassroots effort to, to share with people what's coming. We uh, have included in the March bill a flyer, right, Donna? Did that get in? So everyone in the utility bills will be getting um, a one or two page flyer with kind of all the information uh, that we've put out. It's got the run of show for events for the most part. And uh, we are continuing to work through the staffing and we are going to start rolling that out to our internal uh, crews to sign up for jobs and things on Sunday and Monday. Um, it's been a true team effort. The Chamber of Commerce is hosting uh, business focused meetings tomorrow. There's one at 9 and one at 5.30. Anyone is welcome to attend but they are directed at how do businesses prepare. Uh, public safety both on the city and county side have really been uh, leading the charge on it. So a lot of progress has been made in the last six weeks um, from the from the public facing side of this. So if you haven't uh, followed along on social media, please do so. Please share out the information. Um, it's going to be a lot of opportunities, truly once in a lifetime event. And we keep getting more and more um, information that continues to push towards we're going to have big crowds in India. So specific questions about the eclipse? Jamie, you want to give us a, oh, real quick, one other thing. Um, we, I'm trying to be really far ahead here. October, um, our meeting conflicts with the statewide conference for Accelerate Indiana Municipalities, AIM, uh, which is our big statewide um, event. Typically, Amy, myself, and Kristen attend that. It is that week of our meetings in October. So I would either propose that we scoot it up to Wednesday uh, the 2nd or move it back um, a full week if you would rather do one way or the other uh, to help with that conflict. But that's in October. So we don't need an answer right now, but if we want an answer right now, that'll get it off the radar. I know, Kevin, you said Wednesdays work pretty well for you. But I'd rather move it back and sit forward so, so this meeting would still be after all the other board meetings. Yeah, it would be, uh, we would be after plan and BZA. It would not be after redevelopment or, or airport but it is the next day so if something's coming for a review what date are you looking at we could either do Wednesday the second um, because BZA and plan meet on Tuesday or we could scoot it back to Tuesday the 15th what either is fine do you have a preference from your office okay. Second works really well. Okay. The second thing. We will start the notice process for that as a perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, everyone. 
Uh, for the board updates, Jamie, you want to kick us off? Uh, tonight, board works. We approved the road closures for the uh, Girl Scout Cookie Crumble 5K, uh, which is April 13th. So it's after the eclipse. That was good. Uh, we got update on the fire department and street department. Same one we got tonight. Uh, Police chief came. We approved five-year HVAC service agreement, and then we approved the promotion of two uh, officers. Basically, uh, they're no longer probationary officers. Uh, Brian Winning came, and we actually approved uh, five thousand dollars to be spent, kind of preparing a hundred and fiftieth anniversary book for the, the fire department that will reach 150 years this year. I got a couple of sample pages of what it's gonna look like or right here if you guys wanna take a look at those. Uh, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, just there's some neat facts that are gonna be in there. Just something maybe to be proud of, especially they're gonna put it out after the opening of the fire station that we're building. So that'll all be included into this 150th anniversary. So it's kind of a neat timing that we're building that and it's, we're gonna move in. So. Uh, the book should be ready to go probably late, I think they said maybe October, November time this year after we get everything submitted, uh, find out back where I was at. Uh, Donald Lecker came and asked for a sewer uh, rate adjustment, uh, and then Zeke came, asked for all kinds of money, um, basically for a digester pump, then we had actually went into two different agreements uh, with Strand for task orders, one for Main Street, one for Park Road. Um, Zach came uh, and talked about was it Franklin Street project. We basically was awarded to uh, Globe Asphalt, and then Duke Energy basically changing out a lot of the street lights for LED lights. Um, I think the mayor was very specific that these are city, well, they're Duke owned city paid lights, so it may not be every city light in the city, but but it's the ones that the city pays for. Some are paid for by maybe homeowners associations or other people and, and those aren't in this plan to be changed out. I didn't say it as well as you did, but it's good enough. Okay. All right. Uh, and Mark came talking about heavy trash. Uh, and then we talked about uh, the solar eclipse road closures. Uh, and then the, we, we tabled the fire contract with Washington Township. We had a few things we wanted to clarify with Washington Township before we approved that. That's it. Mark, Main Street. Um, the market to meal uh, that's going to happen in June, they have hired a chef and there's some discussion on the farmer's market location uh, to be determined. Yeah, with the Franklin Street project, the county commissioners have concerns with the farmer's market taking up more space downtown and so they're not, uh, they have not yet approved that to be used, the, the courthouse long to be used for the farmer's market. But the holiday walk they have confirmed that Santa Claus will be there. Well, that's fantastic. I, I can guarantee you can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. It's always good to have an inside man. <laughs> okay. Um, Daryl's not he. Oh, Kevin, you're up. Um, we had one item on the agenda. Uh, it was a primary and secondary plat, which included a public hearing um, for the property located where the Par 3 golf course used to be. Um, they wanted to section out an internal lot line and section off 1.5 acres to potentially sell to, an, I'm assuming they're sell to an adjoining property owner if they ever want to, but it was approved unanimously. Okay. Um, one thing, I, I know Daryl's not here and I didn't make the beginning of the EDC meeting, but the uh, Carousel Play and Learn Center come and, came and talked to the um, Economic Development Court Board about what they're doing, the struggles they're having. Obviously, child care continues to be a big a conversation piece so they came and talked about their model and the problems they have with staffing and licensing and, and bureaucracy uh, from the regulation standpoint the EDC is taking a little more of a different model and trying to bring different uh, presenters in that relate to economic development so I, I do give them credit for coming and talking with them Rodney do you have anything from 911 uh, makes sense um, solid waste Didn't? Uh, we did, but I don't think there was anything major. We talked about uh, talks away days and the. Oh, just They're all uh, the all the dates are set. Yeah. Websites are up to date. <coughs> got my mailer uh, the other day. Yeah. So we should should have got one of those. Okay, Daryl RDC. It's two things. Um, we're almost to the finish line on the. Uh, 
residential development project on hiring a developer, and uh, that's what the meeting is about tomorrow. Uh, we were hoping to sign, or we were planning on signing at the meeting on the 1st, but had some loose ends that needed tied up, so that will be tomorrow evening. And then the other thing is we agreed to uh, lease the 11 acres north of Smith Road to H and I Farms. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Um, Market on Main Street. Um, I th I think we can announce it. We might as well. Uh, Rose Cronley, who is the executive director, has tendered her resignation uh, to focus on some other. Uh, career paths, so we will start the process with the board um, over the next couple months to find a, a director for that. Ellie Beck, who's our current interim director, uh, continues to, to con helm the ship well, and uh, we have full faith and confidence of her uh, success with that through this period of transition. And um, we talked about the eclipse tomorrow at the chamber. Again, that's a business uh, directive type of uh, opportunity, but it is open to it. I think that concludes our updates. Anything else? If not, take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion's been made by Daryl. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, see everyone next month, if not before.